guys! Sorry again about the delay, but this is the moment you've been waiting for. I'm finally going to start telling you about my transition into a new planner. Um, I got a ring planner. I'm really enjoying it. And in this video, I have a compilation of different haul stuff um, as I received the things that I ordered to go into the ring planner, including the binder itself. So um, take a look! So first things first, this is the notebook. Um, this is from an Etsy shop called Asian Vintage TN. I'm not showing you the label, obviously. Um, I heard about this shop from a video by Monique Smith. She um, posted a video in early April. <clears throat> I know, like I said, this is um, filmed in advance. So I'm actually, it's about mid-April now. And so I'm afraid that these probably are not in stock anymore because they seem to be limited. But um, it's like I saw the video and like immediately saw the thumbnail was like intrigued because um, I've been thinking for a long time about trying out rings and I wanted to stick with a smaller size. So I thought that <clears throat> the Filofax pocket size would be like the size to try going from um, the field note size. It's just a little bit smaller. We'll see if it feels cramped, but I'm, I'm really excited to check this out. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this is so cute. This is really packaged adorable. Look at that. Okay. It says Planner Vintage. No, Asian Vintage Traveler's Notebooks. <clears throat> Visit Asian Vintage. And here's a coupon. There you go. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work if you try it. I probably won't be purchasing anything from them soon. But anyway, there's some little stamps here. That's cute. Use those. And then here's, uh, looks like either a spare or a piece of elastic and a little plain charm. That is adorable. I might use that. All right, here's the notebook. It comes in this sort of, I don't know, kind of fabric-y bag. And here we go. Wow. I got the color brown and this is a pocket size, like Filofax pocket size ring planner. So it's got the, um, the traveler's notebook closure. This leather is really lovely. It feels like kind of velvety. It's, um, it's not like smooth, like the outlander or like a Mr. Darcy or something would be. Um, it has a little bit of, but it's not like a, a suede either. I don't know how to describe this. I guess it's kind of similar to the um, the Midori leather. I got to feel a Midori once. And I think it was similar to this. Maybe it was a little bit, yeah, I don't know about the thickness. Um, I think I'm going to try to take this off because I'm just not used to having a little piece of leather there, but it won't hurt anything for now. We've got the rivets, the holding them in place. And it's all apparently hand stitched. This is gorgeous. Let me, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Let me give this a sniff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It smells like a good shoe store. Okay. I gotta move on. I can smell this all day. All right. So we've got um, a pocket on the inside here and then two little um, credit card pockets. And then the uh, secretarial and a pen loop on this side. This is supposed to be crazy horse leather, which I looked it up. I didn't know what that was. Uh, apparently it's treated with like a wax instead of oil. Um, and that I guess that means that it um, kind of changes color kind of as you, you know, stretch it and bend it and use it. So it's got this sort of like rustic um, aged look to it. It is so pretty and that's nice and bendy. All right, I'm really excited to try this out. Ah, I'm just going to keep petting this, but I'm going to end this clip and move on to other things that I'm getting. Okay. Okay. Next up, I just pulled this out of the Amazon box off camera, but I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, this is a, a Repesco um, six hole punch. So this will work with the inserts, make it easier so that things actually fit inside there. So let's pull this open. Uh, 10 sheets. What? I don't know what any of that means. Oh, that the holes are 19 millimeters apart and 5.5 millimeters in diameter. That's good to know. 10 sheets at a time. That's quite a lot. 
And it's this adorable color pink. And you see it's got the six holes there. Uh, what's this? What is that? I don't even know. Is that... <laughs> okay. I don't even know what that is. Maybe it's like a... You can put your name there or something? I don't know. Alright, so I think you unlock it like that. And then, let's see, that's set to pocket, pocket. And let's take a look. I have some paper that I cut out here. It should be right. Okay, and then it tells me on this side here, there's a little line. It says to line up there and punch. And then, there we go. We've got six holes. And uh, let's see if that fits, huh? All right, so let's see. Open these up. Got the six rings. Let's see how that fits. Yep, that looks about right. Good, so it works. Awesome. So I'm really excited to get this set up. It came! These, uh, is, this is a package from Etsy. I'm not going to show you the front of it for reasons. Um, I got some dividers because I thought about making some dividers, but then I was like, I don't really know like what the, the tab should look like. So I decided to just order some. This is from a shop called Danny's Pl Planner Cuties on Etsy. And I got some dividers and look at the storable little packaging. Everything's all wrapped up super cute. Sorry, that's the uh, ice cream truck going by. Hope oh, that's not copyrighted. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so first I got the dividers. These are the, I forget, they're called celestial something, but I'm a big fan of astronomy, as you know. Um, and so these are, there's six tabs plus the front one, so seven total. And let me just flip through, you can see. There's this. this one has some, um, Zodiac constellations on it because they are double-sided. It is really nice. They're like laminated, but they don't have like an edge and they're punched for the right size. Got some planets, got some cute little moons. These are all, they match really nicely. I don't know if she designs these designs herself or if they're from someone else, but they are super cute. I like the size of the tabs too. I'm not really planning on labeling them. I just figure I'll just have a feel after a while for where the different sections are. And I'm glad that they don't stick out too far because I was afraid of that being an issue because of the way the um, elastic goes around my planner this way. I didn't want them to get bent. Awesome. And then I also got the today marker that'll go in here. So it's, you know, cut on the top. The plastic goes down there. So I'll be keeping that. I may decide to slit these, but we'll see. And then I also ordered this, um, it's so cute. It's a little tag that comes when she uh, sends, oh gosh, it's even like embossed. It's a little mason jar shape, but um, you can get like a, was it like a yard sample of, or maybe it's two feet sample of washi tape. For a dollar, so I thought I'd throw one of those in there. This is a nice floral pattern, if you can see that. And then she threw in these for free. Look at that little check boxes, some adorable little koalas. Clip. Oh, it's a spring sampler. Awesome. These are a nice size. I'll have to see how well this works with the inserts I've got. All right. Thank you, Danny. That's so cool. Um, I am really looking forward to sticking these in and having some actual dividers in my planner. So I thought I had everything I needed, um, but I decided to get some sort of decorative stuff. I have never been a sticker person, um, but I'm, I've am i found myself as I've been sort of starting to use the planner a little bit. Um, spoilers for the next couple videos, but 
thinking that maybe some label stickers would be useful. So I went ahead, I placed an order with uh, Plan With Anna on Etsy, and I have to say this packaging is adorable. Um, just got a little Happy Meal sticker and some washi tape, and let's take a look at what we got. Look at that. It's in like all packaged up and everything. It says, hey, planner girl. That's making assumptions. What if I was a guy? Guys plan. All right. Anyway, I'm not though. Thank you so much for supporting our shop. I hope you love your new stickers. If you feel like placing another order with us, I got you. You can use thank you 20. I also want to know how much you like your goodies. Don't forget to tag me. Positive feedbacks. All right. She's on Instagram at plan with Anna. One N. Very cute. Very cute. Look at that like some professional packaging here I gotta say it's just like that little extra bit of polish to the presentation really means a lot you know what I mean all right I think this is a packing slip yep so that's not for you so I got these two little sheets of label stickers these are miniature label stickers and um, they're the size of the pocket size you can see they're yeah, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So they will fit and I'll be able to punch them and stick these in my planner so that they'll be ready to go whenever I want a little label. So I got the multicolored set here. I don't think there are, maybe there are duplicates. This one and this one are the same color. Yeah, it looks like a few of these colors repeat, but mostly they're different. All kinds of different options for different color schemes. And then this one's the same, but in neutral colors because I do like a lot of neutral colors and I feel like these will go with anything pretty much from black through gray and brown, so. So cute, and then she threw in this little rose for free. Is this a sticker too? Can't tell if it's a sticker or just a little cutout. I'm trying to tell. I think if I can't tell, it's probably just a little cutout. So um, I can maybe include that in there somewhere. We'll see, we'll see. I'm trying to branch out in the decoration department. Anyway, just one more thing. I think this is the last thing in the haul. Obviously, if it's not, you'll see another clip after this. But I think this is the last thing I'm going to get. Um, this is an order uh, from Etsy from a shop called Happy Bees. Um, this stuff, I think, was basically just one of those, I don't know what it's called, but where you... It's like from AliExpress or something, but I don't know. I just bought it from Etsy. Um, I got some sticky notes. Let's see. There's some sticky notes here. This one is I to go with the space theme that I had uh, with the dividers. I got this cool little planet. Sticky notes. Let's see how well they... Okay, they seem to be stuck down pretty well. It seems like it'll work. Those would be cute. So I'm gonna include some of these in there and use those. Um, and then I think I got just some more washi tapes too. This wouldn't take actually too long to ship, but for whatever reason, um, I think it's like a week maybe from ordering to shipping. For whatever reason, they don't consolidate the shipping costs. So I ended up removing a bunch of stuff from my cart because it wasn't gonna it was going to end up being more expensive because basically you have to add the shipping cost per item. So I was like, whatever, I can always order more separately a la carte if I want them instead of feeling like I wanted to make like a bulk order. So that would be my feedback for any Etsy shops. Consolidate shipping costs. Um, all right, so I got a, two washi tapes. I got this one is a summery uh, sunflower design. Let's see, looks like this. That's pretty, because man, the summer's coming a lot faster than I thought it would. <laughs> and then this is an autumny sort of woodland uh, fox design. Let me see if I can get this open without tearing the box. I don't know if that matters. I thought this would be really pretty. And I'm just a fan of fall colors generally. Let's see. So these washi tapes aren't not specifically for like this planner, but I just figured they came with, they're cute. So we've got, yeah, just sort of, uh, let's see, it loops from, is it looped yet? That's a pretty long pattern. 
Man, where, where does it loop? Uh, this is a very, very long design. Okay, this tree and this tree are the same. So there you go. That's like, um, I want to say like 18 inches of design there. So that's nice. I did not expect that to be... Is that right? Man, it's really cute. All right. So let me wind that back up. Definitely looking forward to using this one. And then I'm going to put these in my actual planner because, like I said, they'll go really well, I think, with those dividers that I got. So I think that that is everything. I'm not going to go buying more stuff specifically for this planner setup. Um, you know, that's basically... Yeah, let's stop buying stuff now. <laughs> I'm looking forward to using these. These are going to be really cute. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I don't know if I have to film a conclusion or something, but that's all the stuff. And uh, tune in next week. Let me double check. Tune in next week for to see the actual setup. Um, I'm going to show you just clips of as I'm setting up the planner. I've been recording uh, different little bits here and there uh, so that you can see what it's going to turn out like and how I'm using all of these products in there. Sorry, I'm checking my list. No, you know what? It's in two weeks. It's a good thing I checked. Next week, I'm going to talk about how I migrate my system from um, from one, in this case, from my traveler's notebook to my rings. Um, and then in two weeks, you will get to see the actual, finally, the finished product of this planner setup. I know it's been kind of a, uh, a long process uh, that I've been, you know, splitting this into multiple videos so that I would have enough content to last the whole time when I am away from my channel with my new baby. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.